Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming back. Now we're going to start T Operation Starfall and beat the second squad. Try to do my best to do it. I did not heal up beforehand. Directo Cavill! Or Clive, as he likes to be called. Careful now, Jacob. Team Star has a unique way of doing battle. They call it a Star Barrage. To get through, you'll need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. If your Pokemon gets low in health, come back here and I'll heal them for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. For the beep, because heads up gang, some drunk kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. A tip of a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guest, if you defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. Send your Pokemon out with our button to try to defeat a set number of Team Star Pokemon before time runs out. When you're taking on the challenge of the Star Badge, you can have three Pokemon out at a You lose the Star Badge if your Pokemon get too worn out to battle or if time runs out. If one of your Pokemon can no longer battle, you can help it recover by using a vending machine. If you decide you want to give up before time runs out, press the Y button. This is a piece of cake. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. That was way too easy. Da, 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 da.
You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Jacob, was it? I'm... Gaia Como? I'm just gonna call you Como. As a deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you. No. But how about we skip straight to our outro? Don't worry. I'll play a six Requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a really bad move. Okay. I'm gonna go with Quaxwell here. Quaxwell can take it on. The speed will drop us through your ears open. DJ Vice bringing the house down. Ha! Ah, how's that opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crasher. Let's go here. Aerial Ace. That's going to do a bit of damage. Let's go for a low sweep. Ow. Oh. Should have won with that first. The opposing Ponyard fainted. Como sent out. Rever Room. What the heck is that? Time to turn up the tempo. This show ain't over yet. Swap out quickly. I'm actually gonna send out Ghastly to heal up Quaxwell and then resend Quaxwell out. Okay. Only thing I do have that's really effective is low kick. So I'm gonna have to find a way of. That's not what I want to do. I want to heal up Quaxwell. I don't know, I get really A happy where I just. Where I just well, continuously press A, which gets me in very bad situations. Let me just use a super potion. I'll buy another one. Or a few. So let's go ahead and get this done. I'm just gonna go head. Because he's probably gonna knock me out. Rather than having Quaxel take that hit, I'll have him take that hit. Yeah, do that metal sound. I should have. Let me use that pastoral. Parasolize power on low sweep. To power me up. Should've did that on the first one, but oh well.
I don't know if I can take another hit. I have another super potion. Why don't I use that fresh water? Because that was up 60, so it puts me primarily almost back at full health. And I just can hope that he'll use. I'm just trying to survive right now. So is he using his car to battle? That's what I really want to know. Dang it. If he's using this car, that ain't right. Need a thunder shock. Well, now I use something different. I'm just gonna primarily just keep attacking. So if I can get hits in, that'll be better than nothing. Oh, thank God, Flaffy. You're the best. Would've been cool if you could've missed that too, but oh well. Now use Metal Sound or something, okay. Or do that. We got this, guys. See, I do have one revive. I'm going to use that on Quackwell. Then I'm going to send in Mistrevious, reheal up Quackswell, then use Low Kick. We're not going to swap out. I'll just go ahead and use on it. Even though I knew I wasn't going to do anything. Because one more low kick from Quaxel should actually take him out. Especially if he does that. Super effective, and I beat the second mo out of second star mobile. Look at his face, it's funny. You were the star of the show, Quaxwell. Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's it. What's up, Gaia Comos? Did something happen? 
the Bigs box just wanted me to take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules like a code so we'll be all on the same page. Nice! You'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Como? Ha! No thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council. You know, everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course, we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. So we got some other nerd to replace you after all, like five minutes. I can help. Can I help but concur? Male students here must stay no further than one eighth inches below the nape and so forth. Your rules were vaccination made manifest. My point exactly. So you'll agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Como. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up student council pres isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by Como I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no one going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. Back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my Team Star badge, would you? Team Star's Dark Crew defeat. Starfall Street. I'll give you this choice TM, too. You earned it. Fair and square. Foul point. Nice. Ha. So, this is how the party ends. Well, let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy. Like, what moves you should use and stuff. Okay. You like it at the academy? Having fun? No kidding. Sorry, but are you Guaycomo? Whoa, wasn't expecting a giant pompadier to make a guest appearance today. You'll get a Quaxwell to style that up for you. I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for my time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you in Team Star are heading for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we were, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal, close friend of yours, is they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like, how they're the top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the ones who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call them the Big Boss. And where is this big boss of yours now? Wouldn't you like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd be back in touch one day. But the teachers keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashes like you two. Made a big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and the big boss of yours, they're really that important to you. Hey, is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Well, that is... First step of Operation Starfall. Roto, 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 roto. Cassiopeia. Jacob, it's me. Seems Guacamo no longer carries his Team Star badge. The symbol on his on his status as a boss. He gave it to you, did he? Okay, how do you know this? I see. With the boss out of the picture, I've the Seguin's God. Oh, Como. Sorry, I got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now, by your reward, I'll transfer some LP over the phone. You earn 5,000 LP. You can now make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. 
I took the liberty of adding some new entries to the range of TMs you can make on the TM machine. These new TMs should help improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Uh, uh, hello? I'm petting from the supply unit. Probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But uh, I'm helping out with the Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know? That treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff. So I'll be working behind the scenes. So here you go. Your boss reward for Casey. You should be able to make tons of teams with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge in the battle. Seems like you're pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on your side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. That was a cute wave. All right, there's the segment squad. All righty. Thank you all for watching. Please give this video a big old like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Thank you for watching. See ya.